PSG5s. What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to the Sneaker News YouTube channel. Uh, today we have a brand new pair of shoes to unbox here at the Sneaker News office located in blank. Um, but before we do that, do us a quick favor and hit a subscribe button. Uh, if you're already subscribed, here's a lot of points for you. But if not, please hit that subscribe button and of course turn on notifications so you know exactly when we post new videos. Uh, we're going to try to show you all the best upcoming footwear before anyone else does. Cool? All right, let's do this. Today we are unboxing the Air Jordan 5 Retro in collaboration with French Football Club, Paris Saint-Germain. Let's go. So this is the Air Jordan 5 Retro Paris Saint-Germain. It's a collaboration between Jordan Brand and the Football Club in France Ligue 1. And um, in this video, we're gonna talk about not only the design of the shoe, but we'll discuss a little bit about the partnership itself, you know, what Jordan Brand exactly wants to accomplish with this partnership. And of course, other things like the resale value of this sneaker and the fit and a bunch of other things. So uh, just to kick things off, as you guys know, Jordan Brand officially announced their partnership with Paris Saint-Germain. There was a huge announcement that had Kylian Mbappe and Neymar, and for some reason there was Wale and Fabulous in there, but the partnership is official, and you might have even caught a hint of that when Travis Scott was spotted with the Jordan PSG jerseys. It's not too much of a surprise, but it's very interesting to see that Jordan Brand is signing with its first ever football club. And the reason why they're doing that is because, you know, Jordan Brand is trying to expand beyond basketball. Of course, Michael Jordan has established himself as, you know, the preeminent basketball player of all time. They've made some significant moves in the U.S. in terms of teaming up with college football teams such as Michigan and UNC and things of that nature. And now they're teaming up with PSG to fully, you know, expand globally. So obviously soccer, we'll just refer to it as soccer, please don't get mad at us. Um, Soccer is huge in Europe, and it's a pretty uh, shrewd marketing tool for them to expand the brand in a region that may not be, you know, super obsessed with Jordans like the United States are. So let's just talk about this shoe real quick. This is the Air Jordan 5 Retro. Right off the bat, you can definitely see some, you know, Paris-based detailing, and of course, some other key details that call out PSG. But if you are a Jordan fan, you can definitely see that there is a resemblance to the original black metallic colorway. So we're gonna point out some of the details. First off, you have the black, you know, suede nubuck upper. Another key detail is the icy sole, as well as the speckled part of the, the shark's tooth, as they call it. Only that the PSG version, it's white instead of like a silver, so there's a slight variation there. Here at the upper panel, through the translucent netting, this one's a little more smokier than the true icy version. And of course, you do see that Paris detailing with the Jumpman replacing the A. And if you look at the heel, they embroidered the number 75, which is a call out to a region in France. Of course, the black metallic version had number 23 on the heel. If we turn around to uh, the heels of the shoe, you can definitely see the Paris Saint Germain and Jumpman circular logo. And of course you see the, the red, white, and black ribbon that kind of traces up to the heel. And then if we look on the medial side, you see much of the same. You got that black suede with that smoky netting. You have the white on black speckle. Again, we are calling out the comparison to the OG black metallics, only that this is white. And if we look at the outsole, you see the same icy outsole from the black metallics, but of course you see the same circular Paris Saint Germain Jumpman uh, logo that they created just for this collection. So moving around to the tongue, you have the signature lace lock. The tongue is more of a black reflective. Again, back to the black metallics, those have a silver reflective. Again, you have custom insoles. You have a white insole with you know, a black mark that represents the markings on a soccer field or a pitch, and a little message in French right there. And another hidden detail in the Jordan 5 that people love is behind the tongue, the same message, upside down. And it's upside down on purpose because when you wear the shoe and you flip it down, it straight so and on the other side it has Paris right there that's pretty much a quick detailing of the Jordan 5 PSG in terms of resale prices we're right now they're swimming around $350 and we expect it to be 
anywhere from $350 to $450 depending on price. Of course, those uh, where to buy links are below, but probably by the time you read this, they're probably sold out, so you might have to cop at resell. So again, expect to pay anywhere from $350 to $450. The retail price of the shoe is $225 US dollars, so they're already, you know, quite pricey as is. You know, like we mentioned before, there was a full collection of apparel and accessories. We do have a few pieces here that we're gonna show you right now. So first we have our basic T. It's a white standard fit and it has Paris in huge letters with the gem man replacing the A. And on the bottom part of the t-shirt, you have, you know, a co-branded logo lockup patch. Moving on, we have another t-shirt, a long sleeve, clean white. You have that same logo lockup on the bottom and it's on the sleeves is where these are a little bit different. You have that Paris Saint Germain logo on the left sleeve and also on the right sleeve. So these t-shirts are kind of mimicking uh, football kits. So a nice little design detail there. And next up we have a black hoodie with Paris and the Jumpman logo once again. And just to quickly show you the rest, it's pretty standard, all black, the same logo lockup detailing. And our favorite little accessory from this is the, the soccer ball or football ball or whatever they call it. Again, all black, Paris Saint Germain logo with the Jumpman and of course, the message right over there. So this is the near complete Jordan 5 PSG collection. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little bit something. You know, the official release was September 14th, 2018 and resale prices are probably in the 350 to 450 range for the Jordan 5. Of course, there are plenty of other pieces in the PSG collection that you can have. You have the uh, hoodie, the tees, and there's also hats, there's also football kits and jerseys. So, you know, hopefully you guys got lucky on any sort of draws or raffles. But again, we hope you learned a little bit something about this shoe. Let us know if you think this is the best Jordan collaboration of the year. And if not, let us know what you think is the best Jordan collaboration of the year. Hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you do know when we post new content. And thanks for watching.